Hi Virgo, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world. So please subscribe to my channel. Right now I'm going to do a reading for Virgo people that what will happen from 1st of June till 15th of June 2023. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to pull out a cross thread from this tarot deck and we'll see what will happen overall. And after that, in the same video, I'm going to pull some love messages for you from Wisdom of the Oracle. And after that, in the same video, I'm going to pull some extra messages for you from Gypsy Cards. So watch the video till the end so you get all these messages. Let's start with tarot. Okay. Messages for Virgo. 1st to 15th of June, messages for Virgo, 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 1st to 15th of June. Okay, Virgo, 1, 2, Three, four, five, and six. Okay, so the first card we have is four of pentacles. So Virgo, right now you are like a closed book. You are not opening up with your feelings, your um, uh, thoughts, your plans, and whatever uh, you're thinking. In your life and uh, you are actually hanging to what you already have and uh, you are not opening up at all and uh, you are waiting you are calculating and uh, you're very careful and you're not trusting anybody and anything right now okay before that we have king of wands so it can also be about a person. Uh, there was some action to uh, you took towards a person. It's like recently you put your foot down on some situation of your life that, okay, I don't want it or uh, I want it this way or uh, you, you have done something very firm and... Uh, like you have took some kind of action with your power and uh, you have done something uh, you have made yourself firm and for some of you maybe you got out of something some situation because in your mind space we have justice and you know that this is the right thing you needed to do and you did it and that's what's on your mind right now. That decision you made and I think you cut cords with somebody or some situation. And it's kind of an, a final decision you made and that's on your mind. And you are now after that, after making that decision and after implementing that decision, now uh, you are not moving forward. You are still because you have lots of paths in front of you um, but you uh, are not sure which way to go or which path to take uh, but what I feel here is that you're not definitely moving backwards uh, because you feel that whatever you have done is fair uh, for everybody involved in the situation and uh, you are not going back underneath we have nine of swords so you still are overthinking about something uh, you still are your heart heart is not at the right place at this point in time you are you have anxiety you are stressed out, you are worried about some things in your life and uh, you are overthinking about something or obsessing about something. Um, some of you, uh, there is some uh, sleeping disorder 
or um, sleepless nights for some of you. Uh, but uh, you are not exactly in a good place at this point in time. Yeah, you did what you did, uh, but um, you are still processing it. And in this process, you are not making any kind of move forward in any situation of your life exactly. Okay, now moving forward uh, in the first half of June uh, is actually good. First, we have Wheel of Fortune. So you're going to go through a major transition in the first half of June very positive transition so right now whatever energy is going on this closed up energy this uh, processing energy and all that that's going to go away very soon and in the first half in the beginning of june i feel that you something is going to change in a very positive way within you and now the steps you are not taking for some reason, you're going to start taking those steps in the first half of June. And it's it's definitely towards positive, uh, at least for your life or some particular situation. So now you are in a transition phase and that phase, the new phase will start in the first half of June. And after that, we have Eight of Pentacles. So you will be very focused on your work also. You will be busy. You will be working. Uh, and uh, also, you will be working on something. Like working out something with somebody. It can be a relationship also. It can be something else also. Uh, but it's a very progressive energy. Uh, and I think very positive energy of course so first half of june is very productive for you overall if we talk about it overall a virgo then first half of june is very productive productive for you and it's for your work also for your personal life also and you're going to move forward now i don't see you going back or exploring the past or something like that maybe you're doing it right now but you're not going to do that anymore because you're going to completely move on from whatever you left behind, um, which was not serving you anymore. The situations or any kind of things, uh, people. So you're going to move forward and uh, that's going to be really positive for you. That's what I see for you. Now let's pull some love messages for you from Wisdom of the Oracle. Love messages for Virgo, 1st to 15th of June. Love messages for Virgo, 1st to 15th of June. Love messages for Virgo, 1st to 15th of June. Okay. First, we have time to go. So I guess you're going to leave some situation, some love situation of your life behind you now. It's not for everybody because uh, these are general readings. So you have to keep that in mind that this is not going to resonate with every Virgo in the world. Uh, so just relax. Uh, so for whom which uh, are resonating with this, uh, your love situation is, it's like you have to, uh, they're telling me that you are going to move forward now in your love life also. And you're going to leave behind love situations or uh, things which were not, or emotions even, which were not serving you anymore. And then we have to the sea. So you're going to move like, uh, maybe you'll not, uh, completely jump into anything but yeah you'll be contemplating and thinking a lot uh, about your love life in the first half of June and after that we have observer so maybe there will be a love situation there is a love situation in your life which you are observing right now so you'll be again you'll be 
calculating, you will be assessing, you will be contemplating, you will be, I don't know, uh, seeing if it's worth it, not worth it. This I don't see much action here, but definitely look at this. You uh, in your in the background we have yuan. So I feel that for somebody you will be feeling love, very deep feelings for somebody, um, and uh, but you will still be not vocal about your feelings. You will be. In your feminine energy, you'll be feeling love, you'll be observing, you'll be contemplating, you'll be thinking, but you'll not be coming out with words uh, because maybe uh, you'll be giving it some time or you'll be trying to figure it out that what you need to, de uh, to do in this situation. Okay. Now, let's pull some extra messages for you from Gypsy Cards. Okay. What else for Virgo? 1st to 15th of June. What else for Virgo? 1st to 15th of June. What else for Virgo? 1st to 15th of June. What else for Virgo? Okay. This really wanted to come out marriage so for some of you maybe uh, you'll decide to start a union with somebody uh, let's say if you're not committed to somebody so maybe you'll uh, start thinking about committing with them like for marriage or for a relationship or a committed relationship it's it's about commitment and uh, for some of you, maybe you'll decide within your heart, because in your love life, we have seen that you're not going to be vocal about it. But within you, uh, uh, inside you, maybe you'll finalize that, OK, I'm going to marry this person. Uh, it's for some of you, of course, it's not for everybody. OK. What else for Virgo? First to 15th of June. What else for Virgo? 1st to 15th of June. Okay, death. So something has ended in your life. You have ended something, some chapter in your life or some relationship in your life or uh, some situation in your life and you're not going to turn back. Death is complete ending in Gypsy. So... Uh, Somebody did not, uh, something did not serve you, some situation was not serving you, misfortune in the background. Uh, so you completely ended it and you are not going back to it. That's what they are telling me. It can be any situation. It can be a work situation. It can be a love situation. It can be anything. Different for different people, of course. General readings, remember? What else for Virgo? 1st to 15th of June. What else for Virgo? 1st to 15th of June. Okay. Uh, hope. So you're going to get some kind of clarity. Maybe overall about your life or maybe in one situation you're going to get complete clarity and hope. And uh, you'll start maybe fantasizing about it or... Um, imagining the future with it. It can be any situation. So it's a positive energy. It's like hope coming towards you and clarity coming towards you. So please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. And thank you so much for watching the video. Stay blessed always.